what's going on guys assalamu alaikum in this video i'm going to review andreas code so andreas is basically from greece and it's a junior developer and currently is taking the mentorship that i have recently launched where people basically work within groups and they come together and build a product andreas and mo mo from Oh man, if I'm not mistaken, they are building a fitness tracker application where they've got the back end and eventually they will have the um, front end using Flutter. Now, the goal with this video is to show you the basics of code reviews and also being a senior developer, I want to show you that, for example, if you have a space between um, some keywords, you know, that shouldn't really go through the code review. So some of the things that you'll see, they are pretty basic, but nevertheless, sometimes you might take this stuff for granted. Before I start this video, I just wanna let you know that on Sunday, I'm going to release the brand new course and it's actually over 50 hours before I said it was 30 hours. Now we basically surpassed the 50 hour mark and it's going to be amazing. So Sunday around 2 p.m., I'm going to release the brand new course. So make sure to tune in because it's going to be awesome. If you haven't signed up for the wedding list so that you can get coupon, I'm going to leave a link in the description of this video. Cool. Without further ado, let's go ahead and review Andreas pull request. So this is their GitHub project and you can see that they have a bunch of uh, stuff in here. So they've got um, this right here, actually it's in progress. So let's just move this here. So they have the ERD diagram that they've done, the application architecture diagram and all that good stuff. So what I want to look into is this pull request in here. So if I click on it, so I think, yes, I just click on it and then it takes me straight into the pull request. So basically you can see the pull request. He added some comments on the pull request, which is really great. And one thing that uh, I would flag on this pull request it's the name of it, develop. Like this is nothing, right? So make sure that you, you have a pull request. So a name that represents uh, the changes, right? So maybe um, add a new controller or add um, something new or feature X, Y, Z. So I already had some comments in here, but uh, there's still more comments that I have to go through. And I thought maybe let me just record this video so that you see the process and uh, how we go about reviewing pull requests. And then 14 files changed. So if I click on it, so at this point I can go over and, you know, give a review. So um, we discussed about this main controller and that's because um, it was doing stuff with users, but then he had this main controller. So this is gone, which is good. So let's have a look at this controller right here. So basically we have a controller and then here we have a request mapping. So request mapping. And let me put this uh, a little bit bigger like so. So this request mapping, so API V1 and then registrations so and then also here users right so this is actually incorrect so what this needs to be is so if i basically add a new suggestion so here i can say api v1 and then users so that will be the suggestion and then you can accept uh, through a commit or it can make the changes himself so that's good so api v1 and then users then in here we have post mapping and then registrations so you can see that basically the registrations would be part of something else right so maybe i think this should just be a post right where we create a user okay so let's just add a another suggestion like so so just like that so no need to say registrations in here and we just use the rest semantics also private and this should be final so let's just add another suggestion so add review and there's no need for constructor because i think they are using lombok so here at all arg constructor cool so moving on to the next thing so here so here we have response entity create user the request body user and then pass into the service and then basically 
the status code which is created which is really good stuff right so here is sending actually the adequate response status to the client so also in here so get user by id passing the id and i think here you don't need to throw this so throw user does not exist exception so let's just remove that so in here i'm going to say remove and then that i could add a suggestion but i'm just going to leave as is cool and also here this will be like this and the reason why we don't need to say users here is because we have users above right so the rest controller so this guy here so where is it so here api v1 and then users and then forward slash and then the user id okay so this is much better add to review and yeah it's looking good so then we have the get user by id so basically talking to the service and um yeah so now let's move into the actual service so actually here before we have a user does not found exception and this is a checked exception now this is wrong okay so this shouldn't be an exception so we want the ability of not having to deal with this exception by using try catch okay so what we do here so this should be a runtime exception so this should be uh, extends and then run time i think it's an exception like that or runtime exception like that and there we go so this is much better and also within this class we need to basically have the status code okay so here let's just say at i think it's um response status uh, and then we pass the status so basically 404 um look into this uh no station okay cool so this is much better so add review and you can see that um there's a couple of things also uh, in here there's a missing space right so basically um space between so bit ween uh what did i say yes like that so basically this and oh actually let's just do this so paste that and then say that this is like that with a space there we go cool so add this to review and here we have users which is fine so it's just renaming the class and so deleting the customer repository which is okay so we have user repository that's fine so this allows us to save then we have the interface so create user and then get user so here create user so i think what we want to do is we want to return the id okay and not the the full user that we create so let's just basically add a suggestion in fact so this will be maybe i think it's long so long and return the id instead of the user cool and also on the controller itself so let's go back to the controller so controller where are you so controller where we have the create user so in here we don't return the user so usually with post we return at least an identifier a uid or an id right so here long and then id so basically let me just take this so i'm going to say should be and then long post is oh, actually http and then post is used to add a new resource and we should at least 
return the identifier for the created and then resource now if you want to if you want to get the user back just submit a get so get and then request to basically api v1 forward slash and then users forward slash id just like that basically right so often i see people when they building um, resources especially for post they'll return the user identity so that's basically wrong so add a comment there as well so which is good and let's scroll down so in here we are now within so basically this is the exception and have a look in here so we have get user by id and throw user that doesn't exist exception so this is wrong right so that's why it's actually doing here try and then catch so basically this is wrong so have a look optional so basically it's as simple as basically so let's just so basically let's just here so this method is as simple as and then let's just have java here and basically let me just take this paste it there and indentation is not great with comments but i'm trying my best so just like that and here what we're going to do is oops indentation is wrong so return so re turn oops and then what was it so use a repository like that dot or else and then i think it's throw and then we throw the exception right so user or resource or i think the exception name was yeah user does, does not exist exception so basically this guy so and then a message if you want any message okay so i think this is much easier instead of doing all that try and catch nonsense and then having an optional here and uh, yeah so let's just basically add this to review and also for the exception so where's the exception so exception exception maybe so also here let's just add here maybe resource not found Re resource not and then found exception and then with a space obviously so submit and let's carry on so if i scroll down what else we have so also here when we create the user or when he creates a user so you need to perform validations i.e is email taken for example or is name or are mandatory fields null if so throw bad request i can't type today um etc right so so perform business logic before saving the user okay cool so add to review and also here let's just say private and then final add and i think this is pretty much it 
So also it did update the diagram. So we went over this um, with some improvements, which is good. And then we have the test. So this is an integration test, which um, is kind of, it needs, it needs some work and I'm not going to go over this, but basically I'll send him a, an example where I do teach or explain how to write integration tests. So this JSON right here, so this JSON blob, it's not how you pass payloads. Okay. And, um, yeah. So to be honest, this is it. So 14 comments in here. And what I'm going to do is request changes. So you can see that it's very small, but you can see all the changes that we went through. So basically all the suggestions and literally you need to like, if, if you're working within teams, there's no way that this pull request will make its way to the main branch. Okay. And uh, this is pretty much it for this review. Okie dokie. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and let me know whether I was too harsh or not, but I feel like some of the things that I did pointed out, they are really basic and nothing major to be honest. And as um, he becomes a better software engineer, he will realize that yes, those are silly mistakes and eventually it will basically focus on other things. But uh, yeah, pretty much this is it. If you enjoyed this video, smash the like button, comment down below. Let me know what you want to see next. If you haven't subscribed, do so. Also, if you haven't joined the community, I'm going to leave a link where you can join both Discord as well as the private Facebook group. This is pretty much it. Don't forget to join me on Sunday because I'm going to release the full stack professional course, which will take you from a complete beginner to a professional in a matter of months. This is pretty much it. Catch me on Sunday. Assalamu alaikum.